Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, akhi al-kareem. I hope you are well. I was trying to sit down and write something that was going to be more precise and perhaps more beneficial, but as you mentioned, um, you're going to be traveling soon and you need an answer uh, pretty quickly. So, and it's very important, it's good, alhamdulillah, that you ask me a couple of times because when it comes to seeking knowledge, don't be shy. You're not asking for a personal favor and perhaps sometimes the teacher or the brother can be busy and they may forget. So asking in a polite way and reminding is not an issue at all. With regards to the topic at hand, then inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to mention a couple of points uh, and then we'll answer the question inshallah ta'ala with some book titles. But I'm going to just mention some books that I know you need at your level and that will be beneficial ta'ala throughout your journey in seeking knowledge. The first couple of points that we want to mention is number one, that knowledge is sought from the mouths of men and not from the depths of books. I.e., although we're going to be mentioning some books, I know ta'ala, you're going to be coming back and studying it with people. And generally speaking, you should study them with specialists, scholars in those fields. But if you cannot, then you study with students of knowledge or people who have knowledge of that subject matter and whose religion you trust. That's number one. Number two, uh, you can categorize books into different categories by looking at them for diff from different angles. I mentioned a couple of points here with regards to this. Is that number one, there are some books which are mutun. They are texts that a person uses as a kind of pillar, as a kind of um, foundation a marja, something that they return to in their studies. So they'll keep that book, they'll memorize it word for word, or perhaps know it very well, so they can kind of um, recall its meaning, even if they haven't memorized it word for word. So that's one category of books. These books tend to be short in their, in their size, and concise and precise in their wording. Then you have another category of books, which are books that a student needs that are kind of like explanation to foundational books. So, for example, and these explanations are well known and standard amongst scholars. And uh, sometimes you might find scholars say that student of knowledge cannot do without these set explanations. So, for example, you have uh, Fath al-Bari of Ibn Hajar or Sahih al-Bukhari. So, Sahih al-Bukhari is a foundation in the books of, one of the foundations in the books of Hadith. And the standard or the main explanation that many people refer to is, in our time, is Fath al-Bari. So you'd get that book because of Sahih al-Bukhari. And there are many other books in different sizes like that. For the six books of Hadith, you find that. For some books in Aqidah, you find that, and so on. The third point is that, uh, as you know, perfection is only for the Book of Allah. I.e., any other book that comes after will have some things that the author could have said better or some mistakes. And mistakes are not all of the same level. There are some mistakes which are maybe grammatical mistakes, mistakes from the angle of balagha, from the angle of eloquence. Maybe the author should have said this and not said that. There are mistakes which could be worse than that. Could be that there are some issues that the author fell into some sort of innovation with regards to them. But what you find is that scholars uh, refer students to certain books even if the book may have some mistakes at times, but highlight what those mistakes are. So that's another reason why it's important to study the books with teachers. So just because I may mention a book doesn't mean that everything in that book is going to be 100% correct. But rather, these are well-known books that uh, you can benefit from. And sometimes you find that there's a lot of benefit and a little bit of harm or mistakes that are in there. And that's why it's still recommended. So... Uh, keep that in mind, inshallah ta'ala. What I'll do, I'll mention some of those books that uh, I think would benefit you, keeping in mind the different factors that are in play. For example, the level of knowledge that you're at, what you're going to be studying, where you're going to be studying, and the fact that you cannot carry that many books back anyway. So here's a quick list of what comes to mind with regards to some of the books that you may benefit from now and in the future or in the near future, بإذن الله تعالى. Uh, and I've tried to mention books that you can either sit in class, there are classes on those books, or we can sit together and do 
all books that inshallah ta'ala once you get to uh, the right level in Arabic you'll find all your explanations of and you'll be able to sit with uh, teachers and go through inshallah ta'ala because they're very famous so the first thing that I would kind of advise you is try to pick up the book Mutun Talib al Um the big version, not the pocket version, but the one that has the four levels all together. It has the four levels that are normally in pocket all together. Uh, and they, the tahqiq of those, or they were put together and researched by one of the Imams of Masjid al Nabawi. And uh, it doesn't mean that every single book inside there you're going to have to study, but it's helpful. And the big version has footnotes wherein the compiler and the researcher um, mentions what things are missing in some of the manuscripts, different wordings for some of the places, as well as the fact that uh, there are additional pieces of the books in there. So, for example, in the pocket version, which is used for memorization, this, the muqaddimah that, uh, that I know we mentioned in his 40 hadith is not in there. But in the big version, the big book, it's in there. So you benefit from that type of stuff. So that has four levels from Mutun Tab al -ilm. Then you also need to get the Mukhtasar of Adab and Athkar. It's a preparation level before the Mutun Tab al -ilm. The The same Sheikh, he kind of put some Athkar and some Duas that the person should be aware of, some uh, aspects of manners. So I think that only comes in a pocket version. So try to pick that up, try to pick a couple of copies of those up, inshallah ta'ala, because you'll find them very beneficial. Then he has uh, some additional side books that he has also printed, which include, for example, Nukhbat al-Fikr, try to pick that up, and includes Kashf al-Shubuhat, try to pick that up. Uh, I think he recently put out Urjuzat al try to pick that up. Uh, he also has Muqaddimah uh, in Usul al-Tafsir of Ibn Taymiyyah. Try to pick that up. And then level 5 of the Mutun Talb al-Ilm, I think he has Zad al-Mustaqni' Bulugh al-Maram al-Fiyah Ibn Malik. These are all separate uh, separate books. He has the pocket versions and the big versions. Try to pick up the big versions, inshaAllah ta'ala. He also has Al-Jazariyah. Al-Jazariyah, he has uh, as a separate book. Try to pick that up. He also has Al Umda Fil Ahkam in a big version, not the pocket version. Try to pick that up, inshallah ta'ala. He also has Al Fiyah Fil Sirah, if I'm not mistaken, and Al Fiyah Fil Hadith of Al Iraqi and Al Suyuti. Try to pick up Al Iraqi's one if you want, although it's not a must right now at this stage of learning. So those are all from the same uh, author or compiler I'd researched the tahqiqat. Then uh, try to pick up the Sharh of Ibn Uthaymeen on Hilyah Talib al -ilm. And in all of these things, because the ones that the, they were compiled by the Imam from Masjid al Nabawi, uh, they are pretty much easy to read. The print is easy, it's clear. So for the rest of the books, try to pick up the, the prints that are easy to clear, uh, that are easy. For the rest of the books, try to pick up the prints that are easy to read. Because that will help you in reading more. So, for example, Shaykh Uthameen Sharh of Hilya Talib al Ilm, I think the one that comes from his charity, then that is a, that print is kind of easy to read. That's the one that I think I have. Also, try to pick up uh, the Sharh of Ha'iya by Shaykh Abdul Razak al Badr. Try to pick up the Sharh of Kitab al Tawheed, Taysir al Aziz al Hamid, that's one. Shaykh Uthameen's Sharh, that's another one. And Sheikh Saleh Al Sheikh Sharh, that's another one. With Wasatiya, okay, Kitab al Tawheed is going to be in the four Mutun, in the Mutun Talib al Ilm, but the Shuruh I'm mentioning here. You don't have to buy Kitab al Tawheed separately. Likewise, Al Wasatiya, you don't have to pick it up separately, separately. But try to pick up a Sharh called Tambihat al Sinniya by Abdul Aziz al Rashid or Rashid. Rashid. Likewise, Tahawiyah. Tahawiyah is going to be in the Mutun Talib al But there's an explanation by Ibn Abil Iz. Try to pick that explanation up. Again, look at a, uh, a print that is easy and clear to read. 
Some of these explanations are quite difficult, so don't worry about that now. But they are standard explanations, inshallah ta'ala, that you will find teachers will be able to refer you to them and tell you what to read inside them and so on. Try to pick up the book Al-Kalim At-Tayyib by Ibn Taymiyyah. Al-Kalim At-Tayyib by Ibn Taymiyyah. Likewise, Kifaya Al-Muta'abbid by al Munthiri. Try to pick up Mukhtasar Manahij Al-Salikin. Try to pick up Akhlaq Hamlet Al-Quran with the Sharh of Sheikh Abdul Razak Al-Badr, which he called At-Tibyan. Akhlaq Hamlet Al-Quran is by a, a, a sheikh called Al-Ajurri. And Sheikh Abdul Razak Al-Badr explained it. Try to pick up Tadhkiratu Al-Sami' Wal Mutakallim by Ibn Jama'ah. Also try to pick up the Muqaddima of Ibn Abi Zayd Al-Qayrawani in Aqidah and Sheikh Abdul Muhsin Al-Abbad has a sharh on it. Try to pick up Manzoom Al-Qawaid Al-Fiqhiyya by Al-Si'di with his own sharh. If you can get the one with his own sharh, that will be good inshallah ta'ala. Also try to pick up Al-Usool Min Ilm Al-Usool by Ibn Uthaymeen. Al-Warqat is already Mutun Talb Al-Ilm, so you can pick up this book because you find that teachers here either teach one or the other. For now, I wouldn't worry about Shaykh Uthameen's own sharh on it, but if you want to buy it with the sharh, it's good, but you need the matin of Al-Usul Min Ilm Al-Usul. Also, uh, Al-Usul Fi Tafsir by Ibn Al-Uthameen, at least the matin. In Sirah, try to buy also Al-Fusul Fi Sirati Rasul by Ibn Kathir. Try to pick up a print that is easy to read. Al-Fusul Fi Sirati Rasul by Ibn Kathir. In Fiqh, it's up to you. But if you pick up Akhsa Al-Muhtasarat or Dalil Al-Talib or both, you can do so. There's loads of other things you can pick up, but I think this will suffice inshallah ta'ala for now. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and with him lies true success. Any questions, feel free to ask.